Hey everyone, this is JG. I'm really on fire this week with the content, but in the calculator that I made and posted earlier today, I made some interesting discoveries, and I wanted to discuss that separately from posting the calculator itself. Um, but basically I identified that I think the defense stat is very broken in this game right now. Um, so let's take a look. So these are the stats here in the calculator for my Oak as he is currently geared. And definitely in doing this, it became clear to me that gearing him with HP was way more valuable than gearing him with defense. Um, so as an example here, these are the stats that he can pick up from his boot. And let's look at the results here. So it says damage reduction is worth the most to him right now. Um, that provides a net 21% uh, boost to his effective HP, which is pretty substantial. The HP boots in the same rarity give a 32% bonus when maxed out. And so that would be almost a 16% total bonus. So he's got about a, a plus 100% HP from other sources. But look at the defense bonus. So it also gives a 32% bonus. And the net benefit there is less than 3% to his total effective HP. So that really jumped out at me. I'm realizing, whoa, like investing in HP is way more valuable than investing in defense. And, uh, you know, I went through a couple different builds for him. I, you know, this is what I had him in to start. I had an effective HP of almost 700,000. Um, I got up to about 1.2 million effective HP uh, by gearing for more damage reduction, less defense, and a lot more HP. So you can see defense went from 36.79 down to 22.51, but the HP went up, and that made a huge difference in the effective HP. Um, why this is, um, honestly, I think they built base defense way too low in this game. So when I was showing off the formulas for damage reduction from defense. Yes, there's a diminishing returns curve where the maximum reduction is 60%. But even that, getting anywhere close to that makes you get to 20 or 30,000 defense. Uh, you know, my base defense on my fairly highly evolved oak is 1,700. So even before you account for that diminishing returns factor, the divisor they have in that formula of like 10,000 it takes a lot of defense to get to a significant amount of damage reduction. So yeah, even before you look at the diminishing returns, it takes 174 defense to get your first point of damage reduction from defense, 1% reduction in damage. And it only grows from there because of the diminishing returns. And so at, you know, something like... Uh, 1706 base defense, um, that's less than 10x, that 174 value. So this base is less than 10% total damage reduction. So honestly, like one good piece of damage reduction equipment provides significantly more damage reduction than this amount of base defense. You know, it takes a ton of defense to get reliable damage reduction out of it, whereas the values they hand out for damage reduction are, are a lot larger. I mean, take a look here. So I pulled up one of my champions. Um, so this is Oisa, and she's wearing uh, some Guardian armor, which I probably need to switch out for HP when I get a chance. Um, but it's got 288 defense on it and a secondary stat of 2.5% damage reduction. Um, in this case, the uh, for her for her actual stats at this time, that 288 defense provides about a 1.2% reduction in total damage, whereas this secondary stat of 2.5% damage reduction reduces her total damage by 1.8%. So she's getting 50% more damage reduction from this small unrolled secondary stat than she is from the main stat on this piece of equipment. So honestly, defense in this game is pretty worthless. It is... Uh, you know, with the base values that they hand out on these heroes, you just can't get to high enough levels of defense for that to be a significant contributor for you. And it's so much easier to pick up good damage reduction by the damage reduction stat or to just boost your base HP instead. I mean, looking back at the calculator here, um, you know, how much defense does it take before the defense bonus from a piece of equipment matches the value you get from the HP uh, of the equipment. It's like 
yeah, 170% here, and the net bonus from that boot is still less than the net bonus from an HP boot. Um, so defense is way out of whack. It's like five times less powerful than HP as built today. So that really surprised me. It's really going to change how I gear my champions. I think about the only place where I can see defense mattering is if you have a defense-based skill of some sort. So vanguards seem to do their damage based on defense, and so you want defense more than you want attack um, to pump their damage up. But even then, if you want them to survive, you're going to want to get some HP and damage reduction for that. Um, because even the high levels that vanguards get doesn't provide a whole lot of damage reduction relative to what's possible. Um, but anywhere else, you know, if the only reason you want defense is to defend yourself, not because it drives some other skill multiplier that you have, I would say you want to focus on HP or damage reduction instead. They are significantly more effective. Honestly, at this point, I would say that defense is broken in the game. Uh, you know, I think that as early as this game is, this is something that's worth a rewrite from the devs to change uh, base defense values to be a lot higher to change the damage reduction formula because um, as is, there's really no reason to go for defense on 90% of your champions, which is a very strange result. It's certainly something that surprised me. So um, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, if you would already figured this out or if this is helpful information to you, that's all I have today. Digi out.